Stability of flexibly supported finite oil. Journal bearing considering fluid inertia effect and influence of pressure dependent variable viscosity. Abstract The aim of this study is to analyze the nonlinear transient stability of finite oil journal bearing including the effect of fluid inertia and pressure dependent viscosity. The theoretical analysis is intended to show the effect of fluid inertia with pressure dependent variable viscosity on the journal bearing performance for three dimensional bearing geometries. The average Reynolds equation is modified to include the fluid inertia effect and variable viscosity effect and is used to obtain pressure field in the fluid film. The solutions of modified average Reynolds equations are obtained using finite difference method and appropriate iterative schemes. This investigation deals with the stability of flexibly supported finite oil journal bearing with fluid film inertia effect and pressure dependent viscosity. An attempt has been made to evaluate the critical mass parameter. A nonlinear time transient method is used to simulate the journal center trajectory to estimate the stability parameter, which is a function of speed. In the present work, the modified average Reynolds equation considering the effect of fluid inertia along with the effect of pressure dependent variable viscosity is solved by finite difference method with successive over relaxation scheme, gauss del, while the equation of motion of both journal and bearing are solved by the fourth order runge, CUDA method. It was observed that the stability increases with the increase in eccentricity ratio, viscosity parameter, and modified Reynolds number and also increases with the increase of slenderness ratio. Keyword, modified Reynolds number, viscosity parameter, stability, critical mass parameter, fluid film inertia. I introduction. The basic assumptions in the classical hydrodynamic theory include negligible fluid inertia forces in comparison to the viscous forces. Pincus and Stirlinched 1, have shown that the fluid inertia effect cannot be neglected when the viscous and the inertia forces are of the same order of magnitude. In recent times synthetic lubricants, low viscosity lubricants, are used in industries and owing to high velocity it is possible to arrive at such a situation where flow is laminar but the fluid inertia effect cannot be neglected, the classical Reynolds equation is not valid in such case. Keeping in view of the above, consideration of inertia effect of a lubricant flow may be one of the areas of recent extension of the classical lubrication theory. Among the few studies related to fluid inertia effects, Konstantinescu and Galtus II evaluated the momentum equations for laminar and turbulent flows by assuming the velocity profiles is not strongly affected by the inertia forces. Banerjee et. Al3 introduced an extended form of Reynolds equation to include the effect of fluid inertia, adopting an iteration scheme. Chen and Chen 4 obtained the steady state characteristics of finite bearings including inertia effect using the formulation of Banerjee ETAL3. Tichy and Buset 5 and Kakati and Majumdar 7 used the method of average inertia in which inertia terms are integrated over the film thickness to account for the inertia effect in their studies. The above studies were mainly based on ideally smooth bearing surfaces. The effect of fluid inertia has been studied by many researchers for turbulent flow using long and short bearing approximations. However, there are few publications which deal only with the intermediate regime for finite oil journal bearings. Reinhardt and Lund 6 studied the dynamic characteristics based on first order perturbation solution starting from the Navier Stokes equation. Banerjee ETAL3 introduced an extended form of Reynolds equation to include the effect of fluid inertia adopting an iteration scheme. Kakati and Majumdar 78 carried out a first order perturbation technique in modified Reynolds number as was done by Reinhardt and Lund 6 for isoviscous fluid, to study the stability of an oil journal bearing. In the present work, a modified average Reynolds equation and a solution algorithm are developed to include fluid inertia and pressure dependent variable viscosity effects in the analysis of lubrication problems. The solutions of modified average Reynolds equations are obtained using finite difference method with appropriate iterative schemes. An attempt is being made here to study the effect of fluid inertia with pressure dependent variable viscosity on the stability of oil film journal bearings under unidirectional constant load. The governing equations are deduced starting from the Navier-Stokes equation and flow continuity equations. These equations are identical, except for time-dependent terms, 
to the ones developed by Constantinescu and Galtus II which also include turbulent flow regime. In the present study the authors are particularly concerned with the laminar flow regime. An attempt is made to solve the system of nonlinear partial differential equation using Gauss-Seidel iteration method in a finite difference scheme. A nonlinear time transient method is used to simulate the journal center trajectory and to estimate the stability parameters. 2. Basic theory. The modified average Reynolds equation for fully lubricated surfaces is derived starting from the Navier-Stokes equations and the continuity equation with few assumptions. The schematic diagram of flexibly supported oil journal bearing is shown in figure point 1. The non-dimensional form of the momentum equations and the continuity equation for a journal bearing may be written as Here the variation in the density with time is considered to be negligible. The momentum equations may be presented in the following form using equation of continuity. However, the second momentum equation is not used any further because there is no variation in pressure across the film. After Constantinescu and Galtus II, the velocity components are approximated by the parabolic profiles. The velocity components may be expressed in non-dimensional form as follows: under dimensionless flow parameter in and direction respectively. Substituting these two into momentum equations and integrating give dot q. Considering case of variable viscosity it has been observed oil's viscosity increases with pressure and the following relationship is assumed similar to Majumdar et.al. 9. 13. Pe. 0 equals. Considering time dependent terms one can obtain the following form of modified Reynolds equation for dynamic condition considering fluid inertia effect. Where, and are same as equation, 11, and, 12 above xi zi d solution scheme for stability analysis a nonlinear time transient analysis is carried out using the equations of motion to compute a new set of and their derivatives for the next time step for a given set of mass parameter for a particular viscosity parameter the fourth order runge coda method is used for solving the equations of motion the hydrodynamic forces are computed for every time step by solving the partial differential equation for pressure satisfying the boundary. To study the effect of fluid inertia with pressure dependent variable viscosity on journal center trajectory of flexibly supported bearings a set of trajectories of journal center and bearing has been studied and it is possible to construct the trajectories for numbers of complete revolution of the journal the plots shows the stability of the journal when the trajectory of journal and bearing center ends in a limit cycle. Critical mass parameter for a particular eccentricity ratio, slenderness ratio, Modified Reynolds S number, viscosity parameter, and roughness pattern is found when the trajectories ends with limit cycle, fig 18 and fig.19, or it changes its trend from stable to unstable. Four results and discussion. Steady state analysis. The steady state analysis was done and its results are compared to the results of Kakati ET.AL, 7 and Chen and Chen 4, 4, 4 L slash D equals 1.0, as given in Table 1. These two results are in good agreement. A slight decrease in load capacity with modified Reynolds number, re asterisk, is observed in the present study. In the present study it is observed that the attitude angle increases slightly for most of the eccentricity ratios up to 8.00. Table 1, Comparison of Steady, State characteristics of a finite ISO viscous oil journal bearings for L slash D equals 1 with fluid inertia effect. Stability analysis. There are limited publications which deal only with the non-linear stability analysis for finite oil journal bearings with flexibly support. Kakati and Majumdar 7 studied the nonlinear stability of flexibly supported oil journal bearing with the effect of fluid inertia only with isoviscous fluid but did not provide any tables for comparison. Observe the nature slash trend of the curves are quite similar with present study. Below figure shows in both the cases with same parameter values the trend of the trajectory is towards point stability. Figure 4, Comparison the nature of curve. A effect of modified Reynolds number with eccentricity ratio. Figure 5 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with eccentricity ratio for different modified Reynolds S number. 
it is observed that critical mass parameter increases with the increase in eccentricity ratio and increase of modified Reynolds number. The increasing trend is high for N5.0. 40.1 equals dot ER. B effect of eccentricity ratio with modified Reynolds S number. Figure 6 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with the modified Reynolds S number for different eccentricity ratio. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases with the increase of modified Reynolds number for eccentricity ratio, and variation remain almost constant for 5.0. 3.0 equals. C effect of slenderness ratio with eccentricity ratio. Figure 7 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with eccentricity ratio for different slenderness ratio. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases with eccentricity ratio and also as the slenderness ratio increases and the variation nature can be observed from the figure 7. D. Dot effect of eccentricity ratio with slenderness ratio. Figure 8 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with slenderness ratio for different eccentricity ratio. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases with the increase of slenderness ratio and also with the increase of eccentricity ratio. E effect of modified Reynolds S number with slenderness ratio. Figure 9 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with slenderness ratio for different modified Reynolds S number. It is observed critical mass parameter increases with slenderness ratio and also with the increase of modified Reynolds number. The nature of variation can be observed from the figure 9. F effect of slenderness ratio with modified Reynolds number. Figure 10 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with modified Reynolds S number for different slenderness ratio. It is observed critical mass parameter remain almost constant with although slight increase is noticed for dot ER. 0.1 equals DL. G dot effect of viscosity parameter with eccentricity ratio. Figure 11 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with eccentricity ratio for different viscosity parameter. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases with the increase of eccentricity ratio and also with increase of viscosity parameter. H effect of viscosity parameter with modified Reynolds number. Figure 12 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with modified Reynolds S number for different viscosity parameter. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases linearly with and with the increase of viscosity parameter. Dot ER. I effect of stiffness coefficient with eccentricity ratio. Figure 13 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with eccentricity ratio for different stiffness coefficient. It is observed critical mass parameter increases with increase of eccentricity ratio. The trend of increase is more prominent for N1.0.K. J effect of damping coefficient with eccentricity ratio. Figure 14 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with eccentricity ratio for different damping coefficient. It is observed that the variation of critical mass parameter is insignificant for different damping coefficient underscore B. K effect of slenderness ratio with viscosity parameter. Figure 15 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with viscosity parameter for different slenderness ratio. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases linearly with viscosity parameter and with the increase of slenderness ratio. L effect of viscosity parameter with slenderness ratio. Figure 16 shows the variation of critical mass parameter with slenderness ratio for different viscosity coefficient. It is observed that critical mass parameter increases linearly with slenderness ratio and with the increase of viscosity parameter. M comparison of variable viscosity and ISO viscous lubricants. Figure 17 shows the comparison of critical mass parameter between pressure dependent variable viscosity and ISO viscous lubricant for different viscosity parameter for re asterisk equals 1.4 and L slash D equals 1.0. It is observed that the critical mass increases with the increase in eccentricity ratio for all the viscosity observed for all the viscosity parameter compared to ISO viscous lubricants and the increase is more for end. Equals 0.09. And journal center trajectory, limit cycle. Figure 18. Journal center trajectory, limit cycle. O bearing center trajectory, limit cycle. Figure 19. Bearing center trajectory, limit cycle. P 
P variation of whirl ratio with eccentricity ratio for different viscosity parameter. Figure 20 shows the variation of whirl ratio with eccentricity ration for different viscosity parameter. It is observed that whirl ratio decreases with increase of eccentricity ratio and also with the increase of viscosity parameter. V Conclusions I. Stability increases with the increase of eccentricity ratio and with the increase of modified Reynolds S number and with the increase in slenderness ratio and also increase of viscosity parameter. 2. Stability increases with the increase in eccentricity ratio and decrease with the increase in stiffness coefficient. 3. Stability is unaffected due to increase in eccentricity ratio and damping coefficient. 4. Whirl ratio decreases with increase of eccentricity ratio and also with the increase of viscosity parameter.